Welcome back to another unbagging video. I'm here with my good friend, Matt Spacer, editor of Bond Suits. How are we doing today, Matt? Hey, Pete, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Great. We're doing really good. Audio is a little choppy, vision is a little choppy, so let's see if we can just get through this. But today, we're going to show you or present to you something rather special. <laughs> I don't know about you, Matt, but even this bag gets me excited. So, uh, yeah, I've gotten a few of those bags. They, well, actually, when they, they've sent some shirts in the post, I have gotten them in those bags in, in, a, in another you know, envelope. Right, okay. I mean, it's nice. When, um, so this is a Frank Foster shirt, and I'll reveal it in a moment. But when Mary says, uh, you know, do you want, you want me to put that in a bag for you? I always say yes, even though I don't need the bag. <laughs> you know, I always say yes because I like this bag. Not very sustainable, not very green, but here we go. And today, the shirt from Frank Foster. Well, we know it's a Frank Foster shirt because of the bag. Let me see what we've got in here. Whoa. There we go. All right. So not entirely visible straight away, recognizable straight away. But once I get it out, hopefully. You know, I, I think pe people hope, I think people should know what it is. It's, yeah. it's a very iconic Bond shirt. And I don't think that there are other Bond shirts that really look like this one. How would you class this as a striped shirt? It's not thick enough to be a candy stripe. Is it a Breton stripe? No, it's a Bengal stripe. Bengal stripe. That's why you get paid the big bucks. Yeah, I am wearing a, I'm wearing a Bengal stripe shirt too from Frank Foster, but mine is uh, mine's not a Bond shirt. I uh, I got a periwinkle and white stripe, which is uh, I, I I love periwinkle shirts, so that's why I got this one. Uh -huh. your, yours is yours is something uh, on another level. All right, well, so I'll do some close-ups and insert some stills and, you know, posy shots afterwards, but this is really just to walk you through what it would be like to get this shirt. So, Matt, whilst I uh, get a little naked off camera, maybe you can just fill some air and let people know where this shirt, this recreation comes from. Yeah, so th this is the shirt that's from the opening scene of Pure Eyes Only. It's a, uh, it's like a, like a, like a dark blue and, and white striped, uh, Bengal striped body with a contrasting white collar. The collar is like a, a semi-spread collar and the cuffs are also white and they are a, um, like a two button miter cuff. So this is the shirt from, you know, for Roger Moore's wearing it with the charcoal suit. He is, um, so he wears it to, to the uh, to the to the cemetery, and when he gets on the Universal, I'm Expo trying not plane. to expose myself as much as possible. <laughs> oh it's wow! From... Oh, the the fabric yeah. feels really, really, really nice. The cuffs come down a treat. Oh, they know my size by now. Oh, perfect. Hey, babe, do you want to come and have a look at this? Matt, first impressions. What do you think of this? Yeah, that is beautiful. Hey, Pete, can you do up the collar? Sure thing. I want to see how that collar looks. Babe, what do you think? Lovely. Very good. Better than just good? Well, okay. Okay. We got a very good from Anastasia. Okay, I'm coming in close, even though it's dark. Sorry, gang, I'm getting the light. So you don't have the yeah. natural light so, here, but how's that look to you, Matt? Can you see that okay? Yeah, yeah, it looks good. You, you, well, yeah. What do you think? You want to sit down, Pete? I do, yeah. And we'll... I'm just getting the color in there. So, yeah. I mean, this feels, I mean, we've got a, we've done a couple of Frank Foster shirts. This feels different on the body because it's the silk cotton blend, right? Yeah. So, you know, I haven't gotten any silk cotton shirts from them. They, they've, um, they always show them to me. They always show me, you know, they're these, these fabrics, like they, they showed me this one. They showed me like a, a pink, uh, pink version of this. I remember, uh, I think I have a sample of, you know, of the pink one that they sent. Right. I might. I don't know if I have a sample of this one, but I mean, it really was looks the part. It's 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 the right color. 
you got yeah. the right shade of blue. You know, my, my blue is much lighter than, right. than, uh, than yours. Okay. So mine doesn't have that, that fear eyes only look like yours has. No, yeah, yeah, that's a great shot. I love the, yeah. uh, that, that, uh, the two button miter cuff. Yeah. That, uh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah um, Fear, Fear, Fear Eyes Only is the only film where that cuff shows up. And um, all of Roger Moore's um, shirts, just about all of Roger Moore's shirts in that, on, in that film have the cuff. Have the mitered cuff. Yeah, that two button mitered cuff. Right. Uh, the only other time Roger Moore wears a mitered cuff is uh, in Moonraker on the black half zip shirt. That one only has one button. Right. It's a one button cuff. So this is the more typical two button version. Nice. Ah, oh, do you know what? Feels. It feels like this is just going to be like the no fuss shirt that you can put it on. You don't have to look for cufflinks. You don't have to try and mo model the. As much as we love the cocktail cuff, you know, it does sometimes take a little bit of care and attention, right? Oh yeah, it's a much simpler cuff. You know, it's it's easy to wear. Yeah, it it looks really nice with the white shirt. I mean, it's it's really a. Yeah, I, I mean, th this is, I would say, the most iconic shirt from Fear Eyes Only. It's the only one that it has, um, I think it's the only one with the pattern, the only one with the contrasting color. So that it really helps it stand out. It's not like a, um, you know, I mean, you know I mean, the blue shirts, the cream shirts that he wears, the, uh, the jersey shirts in that film. I mean, Frank Foster made a lot of beautiful shirts, but this one is, I think, the standout shirt from Fear Eyes Only, and probably one of Roger Moore's most, uh, I'd say, one of his most iconic shirts. And it went up for auction not too long ago. Uh, when I went to collect this from Frank Foster just a few days ago, Sam, the, the daughter there, said that it never sold. So presumably it's still out there. As in still out yeah, there. Yeah, it's been not it. Yeah, it was up for auction a few times, unless there were different versions of the shirt. Right. I'll have to do a little sure. bit more quiet digging on that. But So this is obviously, this is not the shirt. This is the recreation in pretty much exactly the same style. Matt, you helped me out with the details. And I'm just trying to stop the cat from jumping up. Phil. Man, Phil, why don't you just bug off? Sorry, I've got to stand up, otherwise the cat wants to jump on me. <laughs> is there anything like different from the placket the shirt placket that was different to any of the others do you know no no it has the typical frank foster placket with the two lines of stitching down the middle right you know the right that, quite uh, deep i love that yeah and it has that classic uh frank foster style nice mate this, fat, this feels an amazing I've, and you asked um also whether they would do the collar in silk and cotton the same as the body shirt, but this is actually a cotton collar. I was informed, and I presume the cuff is as well. Yeah, no, I think the, Roger Moore's was obviously cotton. You know, they had, so that way you get the pure white. Whereas the silk in your in the body of your shirt is not a pure white; it's a slight off white. Uh -huh. But um, I think the the white of the uh, the white collar still goes nicely with it. I, I think, yeah, I I, I kind of think that if you had they had the silk collar and cuffs. I think it would, I, I feel like it might look dingy compared to the body, whereas the, the pure white cotton really helps it to look more, um, more elegant, more pristine. Nice. Love. What tie did he wear with this? He wears a, uh, a, a solid charcoal gray tie. Is it? I think it, it has a bit of a slub to it. It's like, it's like a, uh, it's like a shenton silk, but it's, Maybe not quite as pronounced in texture. Okay. Let me get in front of the mic. Do you think what other tire could work with this other than that tire? I mean, like pure black tie, but is there any other tire that you would put with this that you'd look to pair this with? Um, I, 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 I would probably pair a navy tie with it, but mm -hmm. you'd have to uh, make sure the navy you know, goes nicely with the, with the stripe. That, that can be tricky. Uh, I do. I do like how Roger Moore paired a, a tie. You know, a, a, a the charcoal tie, and I do think a black tie would be nice. I would probably do that myself. Um, a long time ago, about fifteen years ago, I, I bought a, a shirt very similar to that one. Uh, yeah. From yeah, from Polo Ralph Lauren. It was a you know didn't have 
the same uh, elegance that a Frank Foster shirt has, but it was it was a nice shirt. It was uh, the same you know same you know, dark blue and white striped body with a white collar and white cuff. Uh, yeah, I remember I, it was about fifteen years ago that I had that one. What happened to it? I don't know. Not sure what happened to it. I I didn't wear it a lot because I I think I I. I I wasn't a fan of wearing the white contrasting white collar myself. Um, they call it a town I mean, shirt I, when it's like that, when you have the contrast white and the cuff. A lot of different town names. Shirt. I think the most c- common name for it is a Winchester shirt. Oh, okay. But um, I mean, there's no one, you know, one correct name for it. I think a lot of people just just call it just just say white collar and cuffs. You know, as, as long as the collars and cuffs match. Oh. I think this is probably the best fitting one that I've got so far. Yeah. For some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, Matt, I just wanted to show you. It's really nicely. Um, oh, so Pete, when, um, do, do you know the best way to, to care for a silk cotton blend? That's a good question. I know you asked me ahead of time. I didn't manage to get the answer. I will, and I'll insert it here. Great. There we go. <laughs> so matt thanks for your reaction thanks for helping me out with the design and kind of getting all the details right uh, you're a great resource as always and uh just really happy that i've got this to add to the frank foster canon of shirts in my wardrobe now i'm unsure which one i'll get next but yeah. you know what's really good is uh sam down there always says look if you see something like out of the persuaders or you see some 70s bond something around that era just get a snapshot if you think it's one of ours get a screenshot send it over to us chances are they might have the fabric if not something very close i mean this is not the exact fabric but this is as close as you'll get to that bolt yeah Anyhow. You know, I'm, re- I'm really happy you have this shirt it's uh it's it's a beautiful shirt wonderful but Thanks so much for jumping on, man. As ever, bondsuits.com, the place to go to find out more about shirts, Frank Foster, and everything in between. And also the book, which I'm sure you're all oh, yeah. know about by now. Link in the bio with the interview with Frank Foster in the book as well. Okay. Until next time. 